everyone. I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet a beautiful chain link cable pattern, which you can see here in front of you. Cables are quite fun once they you get the hang of it, but they can be quite frustrating at first, especially in the early rows when you're trying to work out your stitch counts. So today we're going to learn how to crochet this chain link cable. I'm going to be using a little bit of 100% cotton yarn. I'm using the Pima Cotton by Lion Brand as well as a 5 millimeter or an H8 crochet hook. Thank you so much for joining me. A copy of the free written instructions can be found on my website at richtexturescrochet.com and I'll provide the direct link for you there in the description of this video. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe, take a look around. I do have a few other stitch tutorials with cable patterns and I have more coming soon so you can take a look through those and uh, be sure to hit the notification bell if you'd like me to be notified whenever I upload a new crochet stitch tutorial or free crochet pattern. Our stitch today is worked in rows. Now, just to bring this sample one back out, when you are working the cable stitches, cable stitches can be worked into most crochet patterns. Now, the multiple for working one of these chain link cables is seven stitches. So you're only going to need seven stitches in order to work a cable. Then you can work out how many stitches you would like in between and then go from there. Today for my swatch, I'm going to be working three chain link cables with three stitches in between each one. I'm going to start by uh, chaining 34 chains. So make your slip knot and then chain 34. Thirty-four. Once you have your chain worked, you're going to begin row one by working a half double crochet into the second chain from your hook and then into each chain all the way across. At the end of row one, once you've worked half double crochet stitches all the way across, you're going to chain one. The chain one does not count as a stitch in this pattern. So we're going to begin row two by working a half double crochet into the first stitch, so the stitch at the base of our turning chain, and then half double crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row two, you're going to chain one and turn your work. We're now going to work some of the cable stitches. And this first row is really uh, one of the most challenging simply because there's a lot of counting involved to get your stitches in the right place. So what we're going to do for row three is begin by working a half double crochet in each of the first three stitches. You're then going to skip the next five stitches and work a front post double treble stitch around the post of the stitch that is two rows below. So you're going to skip five and then work a front post double treble stitch around the post of the next stitch 
but two rows below. So you've counted over to the sixth stitch, go to the stitch directly below it, and work a front post double treble. So you're going to yarn over three times, bring your hook down in front of your work and insert your hook from the front around the post of the stitch and back and out through the front again. Yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops four times. So you're going to have this very long stitch stretched all the way across. You're going to do that once more around the post of the next stitch. So yarn over three times, bring your hook in front of your work and insert your hook from the front through to the back, around, out through the front again of the post of the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops four times. So you now have two front post double treble stitches worked all the way across. These two stitches form the next two stitches in your work. So we're going to then work a half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. But because we've worked these two, we're going to skip two stitches up top. So we're not going to work in the stitches that are behind our front post stitches. So work one half double crochet in each of the next three stitches and you're just working into the top of your half double crochets. And three. Now working over the front post stitches and into the stitches below the skipped stitches that we worked, we're going to work two more front post double treble stitches. So we have our two stitches here and in behind we have two skip stitches. So in each of the first two skipped stitches, we're going to work two rows below, we're going to work a front post double treble. If it helps, you can count in. So up here, you know, you have three stitches. So count in one, two, three, that next stitch, two rows below is where we're working that front post double treble. So yarn over three times, bring your hook in back of your work or in front of your work, insert your hook around the post from front through to the back, out through the front again of that first skip stitch but two rows below, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops four times. And it is a little bit tricky because it does get twisted and hard to see, but just trust that it is there and you can straighten it out afterward. You're going to do that twice. So that was the first skip stitch, yarn over three times. We're going to go this time around the next skip stitch two rows below, insert your hook from front through to the back, out through the front, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops four times. Just like so. So we now have a set of crossed front post stitches. Once again, ignoring the stitches, the next two stitches that are directly behind these two front post stitches, you're going to work a half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. And again, we're just working in the tops of our half double crochet stitches of the row below. Just like so. We're then going to have to do a little bit more counting, but we're going to skip the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Working around the post of the next stitch, but two rows below, we're going to work a front post double treble stitch. So yarn over three times, 
Insert your hook around the post of that next stitch two rows below. Yarn over, draw up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two more and do that four times. You're going to repeat around the post of the next stitch two rows below. Yarn over three times, cross over, around the post of the next stitch, yarn over, pull through two loops, four times. Now working back up in the tops of your stitches, ignore the first two skipped stitches and work a half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. Now, once again, we're going to work some front post stitches crossed back over and worked into the first two of the skip, first two skip stitches. Uh, but again, we're going to be working three rows below. So if I count back, if I go down to my first row, one, two, three, four, five, that's the first stitch that I'm working around. Yarn over three times, bring my hook in front of my work and insert my hook from the front through to the back, out through the front again. It's a little bit twisted, but I'll straighten out afterward. Yarn over, drop a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops four times. You're going to work another front post double treble stitch around the post of the next stitch. The next skip stitch, that should be just like so. Once again, up top, ignore those next two stitches because we've worked stitches in front of them and work one half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. You're going to repeat this all the way across your work and then finish off with three half double crochet stitches in the final three uh, half double crochets. Once you've come all the way across, at the end of row three, you've worked the hard part. <laughs> so now we're going to chain one, and after every cable stitch row, you're going to chain one and turn your work, and you're going to work a half double crochet in each stitch all the way across. So row four, work a half double crochet in that first stitch, then one in each all the way across, you're just working into the tops of those front post stitches. Make sure that none of them are twisted. You want to make sure that you're working into the stitches in the order that they come. So half double crochet in each stitch across. At the end of row four, you're going to chain one and turn your work. Now for row five, we're going to work some more front post stitches to continue our cables. You're going to begin by working a half double crochet in each of the first three stitches. You're then going to work a front post double treble stitch, working around the post of the next front post stitch two rows below. So this is why it's so much easier once you get past that first cable row because now we're always working around the posts of these front post stitches so they're much easier to see. So yarn over three times, just bring your hook down in front of your work, insert your hook around the post of the first front post stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops four times. You're going to do that again around the post of the next front post stitch, two rows below. Up top, you're going to skip those next two stitches, those next two half double crochet stitches, because we've worked our front post stitches in front of it. You're then going to work a half double crochet in each of the next three stitches.
Next, work a front post double treble stitch around each of the next two front post double treble stitches two rows below. Next, you're going to work one half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. Again, you're skipping the two stitches in behind those front post stitches. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. So work a front post double treble stitch around each of the next two front post stitches that are two rows below. Work a half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. And a front post double treble stitch around the post of each of the next two front post stitches, two rows below. Repeat that all the way across. At the end of row five, chain one, turn your work, and once again you're going to work a return row to get you get back to the beginning. You're going to half double crochet into that first stitch and then half double crochet into each stitch, the top of each stitch, all the way across. At the end of row six, chain one and turn your work. For row seven, we are simply going to repeat our row five, so half double crochet into each of the first three stitches. Work a front post double treble stitch around the post of the next front post stitch two rows below. Work another front post double treble stitch around the post of the next stitch, two rows below. And then work a half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Work a front post double treble stitch around e the post of each of the next two stitches, two rows below, followed by three half double crochet stitches. Repeat that all the way across. At the end of row seven, you're going to chain one and turn your work. And that's it as far as the repeats are concerned in this pattern. For the rest of the pattern, you're simply going to repeat your row two, which is your half double crochet row, all the way down through to row seven. And that, uh, and then continue on. Now, when I finished off my cable on my original, I did end off on a row three, which was your crossed cable pattern. So go ahead, repeat for as long as you would like, fasten off, weave in your ends, and that's how you work this chain link cable pattern. So thank you so much for joining me. And uh, if you happen to work this pattern, feel free to share it with me on social media. You can tag Rich Textures Crochet and I can come by and admire it. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.